rich donors, lobbyists, and super PACs. They all influence elections. Less than 1% of Americans contribute 80% of campaign funds. The American Promise and the American Constitution Society are working together to change this and are pushing for a constitutional amendment. Today in Boston, the groups kicked off a nationwide town hall meeting style tour on just how to pass the proposed 28th Amendment. The reality is this, I mean, money it plays too big of, an, of a role in our politics. Congressman Jim McGovern wants to see the U.S. Supreme Court's Citizen United decision overturned. The ruling allows corporations to spend money on individual candidates in elections with no limits. 19 states already endorsed the 28th Amendment's effort to overturn the Citizens United decision, but there's more work to be done. Attorney Ron Fain, who has won several well-known federal cases, explained the legal questions the amendment has yet to tackle when considering corporations' rights. Is there an actual human being who can say, my rights are at stake? Sometimes there will be, sometimes there won't. Should their constitutional right also include the right to use a corporation to do what it is they're trying to do? Although people across the country showed their support by taking part in an interactive online poll answering questions on what issues are most important to them, opposition to this proposed amendment has already begun. Conservative think tanks argue that a 28th Amendment will overturn their First Amendment right to donate and endorse. 42 senators and 125 representatives are co-sponsors of the amendment which means 67 senators and 290 House members are still needed to move it to the states for ratification. Reporting for Emerson College, I'm Allison Walker.